Good afternoon, I'm Jonathan Vega. My name is Jonathan Paris. And my name is Dennis Diaz. And today we're, we're a group 10, we're presenting slider crank and four bar mechanisms. A brief history of mechanisms. Mechanical mechanisms has led to great technological advances in several industries, some of which include agriculture, naval architecture, and most definitely robotics. The sliding uh, first part of our project was a sliding crank mechanism. A sliding crank mechanism consists of a uh, driving link, a connection rod, and a sliding body. This allows it to convert rotational motion into translational motion. As you can see, the, the slider is actually consists of two joints, the re a revolute joint and a prismatic joint. And on that diagram, you can see the driving link can rotate 360 degrees align the connecting rod to drive the sliding body in a linear motion. Here we have our, our position analysis. We have generated several formulas. And as you can see, for our data two, uh, we'll have a positive and a negative. So we're gonna have two sets of solutions. And here are our initial parameters. This is a, a brief sketch as well, showing the sliding crank mechanism uh, and the surface that it will be sliding on. This is our first set of solutions. The R1 changes and as it fluctuates, you can see the position of a, the slider moving along and uh, clearly defined a straight path. And in our second set of solutions, uh, it's the same, same concept, but now it's fully rotated and now it's inverted. So it, it'll also continue sliding along a straight path. However, the, the sliding crank is now inverted. And lastly, for our position analysis, we have the, the coupler link. The S point in the coupler link, as you can see, will fluctuate depending on where the sliding crank is. On this specific point, you can see the X, Y coordinates for the S point, and these are the formulas used to generate it. The next part of our project is to conduct a velocity analysis of our outputs, which are data two and data three. And right here, you can see a graph of data two and data three's velocity as they're graphed over R1. As you can see here, the velocity is constant and the same as here, which is shown in the next slide, that the angular acceleration is also constant for data two and data three, and they're, and they're both graphed over R1. And to find these values, we use the equations shown above. Here you can see an animation of a slider crank that we designed in SOLIDWORKS. As, I, as you can see, this rotates at 360 degrees, and as it does that, this moves, the slider moves in a linear fashion. As you can see here, these are some applications of a slider crank mechanism, which are reciprocating engine, rotary engine, and elliptical trammel. The example we decided to go with was the combustion engine, because the combustion engine has components similar to a slider crank, which are the piston and the rods that rotate the piston up and down. Here, as you can see, Fuel is combusted here inside the cylinder, which moves the piston up and down in a rotary fashion. Here is an example of our animation of the, the piston in the combustion engine. As you can see here, this, the piston goes up and down and it rotates around this position. One of the other parts of our uh, project was to analyze a four bar mechanism. So a little bit about four bar, four bar mechanisms. It can just uh, consist of four links, uh, normally one stationary link and two rotating links. Um, these are the four different types. To determine which type you have, you have to apply the Grashof's equation, which is the smallest link plus the longest link um, to satisfy a certain inequality. Uh, so, we had to synthesize a four bar mechanism and we were given uh, three positions of the coupler and then we applied the equations to find the ground links and the lengths of each of the links. Uh, these were the results of the lengths of links and uh, here is a sketch of the four bar with each of the links described. Um, here's a verification 
of the motion. As you can see, the four bar first accomplishes the first position here in red, and then it will rotate counterclockwise to reach the second position, and then rotate again counterclockwise to reach the third position. As this animation will show, um, the four bar is able to rotate uh, 314 degrees. So it can't go fully 360, but it still uh, reaches all four, uh, three coupler links without any problems. Uh, so some common applications for a four bar, we have the well mechanism, a beam engine displayed here on the right, and a Bolton watt beam blowing engine. Here's a schematic of a beam engine. As you can see, the, the piston moves up and down. This will uh, move motion to the other side of the beam and rotate this crank 360. Uh, here's a short video of the beam engine. And as you can see, it rotates 360. So in conclusion, a, a slider crank is very useful and so is a four bar. A slider crank uh, normally converts rotation of motion into translation of motion. A common application that can be seen in the real world is the combustion engine. And a four bar mechanism, normally four types, uh, depending on the Grashoff's equation, uh, produces a certain motion, not normally 360, but sometimes it will. And a common application is a beam engine or uh, a windshield wiper. Uh, thank you for your time.